Zelrog? Hello? I'm lonely. So we're here doing another, well, not it's not another Let's Build, it's part two of the same Let's it's Build. Sorry, Jack's same Build. Part two of the build. Yes, Jack, Jack's Build cast. Of, uh, of my nether house for Halloween. Yes. Only it's not, it's and, not gonna uh, be Halloween when this airs. Not anymore. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be Thanksgiving season now, turkey and shit. No, it's gonna be Christmas. Don't you know that's what comes after Halloween? <laughs> that's what the stores tell you, right? So 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 what is Thanksgiving then? Like mid Christmas? It's like pre Christmas? Uh Thanksgiving is Halloween clearance. <laughs> so that's what's when all they that sell turkey? All the unsold tur candy. And then they stuff it in the turkey and then uh, make yes. turducken. Yes, it's a can duckin. <laughs> can duckin. Which Candy is turkey. also I think the name of uh of the canned duck product that poor people eat. <laughs> oh, that's 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 not true. That's terrible. But it, it could be. That's not true. If canned duck like, doesn't exist, duck. we could invent it. Canned duckin. Canned duckin. From the creators of spam. <laughs> have you ever had Pitch spam? That idea to them. Yes, I have. I have not. Several I have no times, idea what it's like, and I probably never will. Um, it's a bit salty. I imagine it's, good it's fried. like hot dogs, but not. Um, right on the money, actually. It's like hot dogs, except not. Yeah, I'm pretty good at guessing. That's the impression I got from it. So, um... So yeah. Last time we did one of these builds, I built some stairs. I, uh, that that was yes. about it, really. Oh, you we were building some stairs, and I and I was and I was talking shit about DC. I'm gonna change it up a bit today. Got I mean, a nice uh, big bot. How are got you a nice big glass of. Uh, well, uh, I decided I was being kind of unfair to, towards DC, so I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of uh, point out Marvel's criticisms this time, and. Uh, their criticism which is kind of difficult well 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 i'm gonna criticize some of uh, marvel's questionable uh gene gray is a whore is choices. that what i'm getting at no no, <laughs> no she's just a psychopath not a whore um oh mary J no i was thinking of mary jane all, all no. the marvel redheads kind of blend together after a while uh, and the blondes, apparently, if you're confusing uh, Gwen Stacy and Mary Jane. <laughs> well, she was. Is a Gwen Stacy blonde? It, I think so. I, I, I'm pretty sure. I have no idea who the character is, or I didn't until you mentioned her in the last build. So, I'm uh, I am marvelly <laughs> <Yeah>. uninformed. <laughs> um. Did you, did you hear they're doing a Captain speaking Marvel of Spider Man movie? Hmm? They're oh, doing a really? Captain Marvel Marvel movie. Not the DC Captain Marvel, <laughs> as misleadingly named wanna, as he wanna, is. You want to get some fucking confusing uh, comic continuity? Yeah. <laughs> you just just look at that as an example. Captain Marvel, the DC one, not the Marvel one. I didn't. The I don't DC know what the story first? behind. I don't. That's one part of comic history I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if like. DC created something called Captain Marvel, and Marvel bought the rights to use him. Well, no, or if it was actually, the other I, way around. I think some like independent writer created him, and then DC bought him, and then after all of that, Marvel <laughs> created a character also called Captain Marvel, probably just to fuck with DC. Like like how they like how Marvel created Deadpool to fuck with DC because they created Deathstroke. It was like a Deathstroke parody at first. Is that how it, it took happened? on a life of its own? That's how it happened. Yeah, the uh, uh, Deadpool was a uh, was a fucking uh, Deathstroke uh, parody. Hmm. This is news to me. That was. This is. It's actually. Uh, and it, you watch Teen Titans a whole lot. They couldn't call Deathstroke a uh, Deathstroke on Teen Titans. They just called him Slade. Yeah, for obvious reasons. Yeah. So. So I yeah. I liked Slade better than Deathstroke. He was a more calculating <laughs> was... character. Yeah. I think 
Marvel's version, actual the actual Marvel version of a uh, of Deathstroke slash Slade would probably be Taskmaster. Taskmaster, who um, his ability was that he had like he could memorize somebody doing like a move, and then he'd know how to do that move. He's like the perfect at like he's perfect at, like training people because he knows all the moves. Yeah, he's Kirby. Yeah, <laughs> well, he doesn't need to eat them. I don't think. I don't know if they re re like retooled him to have that power or something. But that doesn't mean he doesn't get to. <laughs> He's not a sadist. He's more of a mercenary. Mm. But anyway, back back to uh, the topic at hand. Spider Man. Yeah. Now there's this uh, there's this writer called Joe so Joe something Ke Joe, Joe Quesada. Joe. I don't know. <laughs> Are you sure? So. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't think Joe Pesci would wrote, would write something as um as stupid as I'm about to tell you. Okay. So he he was he was writing this uh, storyline for uh for Marvel the Spider-Man storyline where in it uh Spider-Man's aunt Aunt May dies of some some illness or an accident. But yeah, she dies, and uh, and Peter's all like depressed, and and his uh, his fiance or no, sorry, wife, his actual wife, uh, Mary Jane, was like uh, kind of depressed that he can't help him. And then another character, the the devil of the Marvel universe, called Mephist, or was it Mephisto? Shit, actual like, pronunciations escape me. But, the devil. Okay, it's the devil. Okay. It's Marvel Devil. He's the guy who who a freaking Ghost Rider worked for for a bit as the as the bounty hunter. He was his bounty hunter essentially. Huh. And then he had a yeah. So um so he comes like this big long storyline happens and he's like coming. He's like, hey, I can I can rewind time and bring uh, and bring your aunt aunt back for one more day. That's the storyline. It was called One More Day. And he's like, but I have a price. Spider-Man's like, what? You you want my soul? And then he's like, no, I want your marriage to to marry Jane. Okay. First off, how the fuck does that even work? Like he wants the like, marriage for himself, or he just wants the marriage to I not have happened. <laughs> I don't know. It, I think the latter, because after, it, and by the way, the second fucked up thing, he accepts. Spider-Man. Oh. Spider-Man makes a deal with the devil. You, I think I don't know if that's better. Or, no, Our that's. Heroes. I'm gonna say that right now. This is worse than the time DC made like made Harley Quinn a whore. This is they they turned Spider-Man into like a Satanist. So, is that better or worse and than the time like the Lena Inverse summoned the Super Devil to beat the devil? <laughs> I don't know. It's. They're they're pretty po equal on on Satanist terms, right? How do, how does this always happen? We're on the Halloween build and we're talking about Satanism. Well, this is no this is the Thanksgiving build. Yeah, true. We're we're still lingering on Halloween though. <laughs> yeah. You know what pisses I mean, me off? It's... What? I get I'm pissed off that there are parents who take their kids out trick or treating at 3 p.m. Because Three? dark. What? Yeah. Is that? It, there are people that conservative they, and afraid, and it's disgraceful. Of, of, of who? Michael Myers? Of the? Of like teenage pranksters? Of a, Not, dark. Of the dark. Because once Bring the streetlights come on, things get scary. <sighs> So anyway, yeah. Uh, what, what what about Jean Grey being a whore and not married? No. Uh, Sorry, Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Mary. So, I. I think how it went was that uh, was that Mary Jane also forgot like that Peter Parker ever existed or something. So. Which time reset. But, he has to win her love all yeah. over again. Well, then, then, uh, then he, Joe, uh, he did a sequel story called Brand New Day. I don't know much about it. All I know is that there was a panel where Mary Jane was 
freaking obese. So, oh. no, I, di- I didn't really take a gander into that. Not because she was obese, but because it's like, are, are you trying to, I don't, I, I don't know what kind of point you're trying to prove, but I don't like it. It crossed the stupid threshold. A, a lot of people were pissed off at that. I mean, they weren't calling for like, for like boycotts, like freaking DC does every single day. You mean like so, people do for DC stuff? Oh yeah. I, th- th- I let me put it this way: there is a reason that doesn't exist a website called "Has Marvel Done Something Stupid Today?" Yet, as of this recording, I don't know of a we- of that kind of website. Yet. <laughs> Yet. Well, here, oh, by the way, speaking of that website, I'm going to check really quickly, see if, uh, has, has DC done something stupid today? I'll just be here, working on the frame, <laughs> still. <laughs> Gotta get a lower floor made. <laughs> oh, whoa. And... No! It's been a whole month since DC Comics did something stupid. That That's impressive. Good for them. That... <sighs> anyway, so how, how long enough has it about... Been since, say, Cartoon Network did something stupid? Is there a website for uh... that? Who's doing I, really I, stupid I don't know. stuff I don't... these days? MTV's pretty stupid, um... right? Yeah, they, they, they got off that whole music video kick, which is the only reason why you'd want to watch MTV. Because you know the people, M stands because people, for music. Yeah, they're they're on their Jersey Shore bullshit. I guess that's. I, I, what it is not music television. What is it? Metaphysical television. Something along those lines. M- massively stupid television. That would be MST. Man, you just dissed Mystery Science Theater. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <sighs> and and are not. T- I'd like to see the cast of Mystery Science Theater 3000 try to tackle uh, an episode of Jersey Shore. Really? For charity, even? I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> MST w- makes things tolerable. I I watched the Three Stooges movie, and Jersey Shore was a plot element. <sighs> that. That always amuses me every time I hear that. It's like, I, I way was, to date your fucking movie. I, I was with I was with someone in the theater when I saw that, and who I are you, who are you with? I that, <laughs> that's not important, but it I made a joke <laughs> when they said that Mo was going to be on reality television. And I said, oh hey look, Mo's just going to be on Jersey Shore, and he was. <laughs> uh, it's one of those. I made a It's one of those things where you. It's one of those things where you're like, I was just joking. I I wish I hadn't said it in retrospect. Yeah. I wish I hadn't said a lot of things in retrospect. I'm as, sure you do. As people who, Yeah. What are you enjoying right now? Who, some uh some Sailor Jerry's. Yep. I got a bottle of it uh leaned up against the wall. That cute Hulu girl is on the label. Nice, because sweet that's the most caramel. important reason for buying a rum. Yeah, the most important reason for buying a rum is that it's good. And the most important reason for buying a Hawaiian shirt because it fits. <laughs> because it's awesome, man. But if I can get away with wearing a Hawaiian shirt at like a suit and tie event, I totally would. Have you tried? Not yet. Like if I if for some reason I ever decided if I ever get like invited to go to the Oscars and like they say you gotta wear a suit and tie it's a, it's a black suit and tie event I'm like okay ignore them and I start wearing freaking Hawaiian shirt and what if, what and, and if you slacks, wore a suit and tie slacks. with a Hawaiian pattern on it I never thought of it that way you're you're a genius or you could wear a Hawaiian shirt with a tuxedo pattern on it. It'd be, it could be a collage of little tuxedos. <laughs> that would be amazing. And Gabriel Iglesias way, should do that. I gotta... <laughs> yeah. 
I, but well, the fact, but just, just if, if I ever in this fantasy world I'm living in, if I ever do to like make a movie and it, and it wins an Oscar, just show up in like a Hawaiian shirt. And I'm like, and I just say, they say that I should have worn a suit and tie, but fuck them. It's the Oscars and I'm a winner. Then I might watch the Oscars. I just, <laughs> just, just to see my drunken shenanigans. On the on the topic of TV, did you hear about uh, Nielsen? Nielsen? Yeah. Uh, the ratings people. What happened? Oh yeah, those guys. The yeah. 1.0 is but 2.0. That those people. What happened? Yeah, they uh they find. 2014, they finally revised their system so that everyone is included. Or a lot everyone. closer to everyone, anyway. <laughs> I mean, you know, in the, they well, were still actually doing, you know, that you get a piece of paper in the mail asking if you want to be a survey family. And for a, for a while, it was they were still taking, like, mail. You wrote on a piece of paper what you'd watched and everything. That was how it happened. <laughs> That's stupid. Yeah. And they finally just started counting, like, Netflix hits in YouTube and Hulu. <laughs> 2014, it finally happened. Well, they realized that the internet, like, streaming wasn't a fad that was going to go away. Yeah, they gave up on fighting it. Much like, much like how Nintendo realized that online gaming wasn't a fad that was going to go away and included it for the yeah. Wii. The old curmudgeons but... in the CEO office. Oh, these kids know what they're doing. Yeah, speaking of, like, okay, going away from has Marvel done something stupid today, how about has Nintendo done something stupid today? You know, you know, you know what I heard? What? Oh, fuck. Alright, so cut all that. We're here, we're here again. Uh, is no, our, our, our Steam chat didn't just randomly drop for no reason. Yeah, And it certainly wasn't okay because Zellerox... <laughs> So I'm Everything's still, fine. How I'm are still you? Building the undercarriage. The Nielsen CEOs are still curmudgeons, uh, and uh, Harley oh, Quinn is that. still a whore. Are <sighs> you never gonna let that go? Are you? Nope. Fuck. Uh, well, she might not be a whore anymore. Actually, I think they might have. Uh, they might have made her more conservative. So you uh, you got through to him, did you? They saw our video. <laughs> That was fast. <laughs> anyway, uh, Nintendo. Yeah. So, the Lord, C the CEO of Nintendo, Miyamoto. The Lords of Nintendo. <laughs> the Lord of Nintendo, the king. Uh, he decided he's on this kick where it's like, you know what, video games don't need online play? story. Oh, story. Yeah, like. Like apparently, people were complaining about like uh, like how recent Nintendo games were having less in the way of story, and uh, and he said outright, and he's like, well, he's like, he's like, well, back in the NES days, video games didn't really need story. I mean, I, I kind of see where he's coming from. I mean, it shouldn't be the focus of the game. But, you know, it's not to say it should be thrown out the window, either. Yeah, and... I mean, to be fair, if, if a game has, like, a shitty story, then then it's kind of noticeable, even if the game has, like, good gameplay. Is it... I mean, you know, Super Mario Brothers. Well, it's Nintendo. The... That's the excuse. <laughs> it's Nintendo. No one it's expects the, much. It's... Just... They're sitting at the kids' it's table the of the video game industry. <laughs> yeah, with Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... Oh, shit. I found out the very first game in, in the Call of Duty series is on Steam. So, uh... One yeah, day I'm going it. to have to give it a try out of principle. Just because I've never played any of them. It's actually very, very different from, uh... From any of all the later titles... For one, they have a health bar system. They have like a health system, like like 100 to zero, and if you hit zero, you die. As opposed to, just as opposed to regenerating health, or the screen gets too uh, blurry and red, you die. Huh. 
Yeah. Or, uh... I think that's it, actually. I think the, the what most people see the modern Call of Duty is, like, uh... Is, like, started from 2. Hmm. And then... And then the modern, modern Call of Duty started from 4, which was the first Modern Warfare. And then they looked back once and then de never looked back to its World War II roots. Can can we talk about uh, something else? Pretty please? Yeah, I'm getting... Yeah. Way did to kill... Know, did you know that there's an elf yeah. bowling movie? What? Yeah. Seriously? I saw it in a, in a shitty DVD bargain bin at, at a grocery store. I... How do you make a movie based on that? I have no idea. But it happened. Did you watch like, it? No, I didn't watch it. I couldn't even sit through a food <laughs> fight. <laughs> it could have been better than food fight. I, I, I suspect they're probably by the same people. <laughs> it, they would have Charlie Sheen's drunken rambling while the former Lizzie McGuire is putting on a really bad like voice did that happen in food fight yeah that was the voice of that one uh that one cat chick it was lizzie mcguire and charlie sheen was in it charlie sheen was the dog that that is that is depressing <laughs> i guess <laughs> that what what that you watched a charlie sheen movie uh, or that uh you know what? Charlie I have sheen no idea to... if, if Charlie Sheen is a good actor or not. So I'm gonna I'm gonna withdraw that it's depressing. I I have no no <laughs> vestment in the issue. Um, I know he was in a the... really annoying commercial for a while. That's about it. Yeah, he was in uh he was in um he was in Two and a Half Men. He was like the star until uh, he went crazy and started believing in like Tiger's Eyes or whatever the the fuck he was spouting off about and then um and then they replaced him with Ashton Kutcher in Two and a Half Men yes it is, what did his character go on vacation or something his character died huh they killed off his character that's how <laughs> that's but... how many bridges Charlie Sheen burned with that uh that well they, they gotta be really sure he's not coming back to do that in most cases. Yeah. I'm <laughs> You don't kill off characters like that though. You you do the the respectable thing and say, "Hey, I'm I've taken this job somewhere else." Now, I'm I'll be back maybe eventually. What if they'd done or, that with Kenpachi? You know. What like I mean they couldn't like have they, because they wrote... you know David Lodge is a dub actor and he wasn't involved yeah. in the production of the show. But you know what if What, what if, if they just what, gone they away killed him off while? or they <laughs> he does that all the time. Where do you think he was in the first half of that Zombacto Rebellion arc? That's true. Withdrawn. He, he just fucks <laughs> off into the ether for a he's... while, and then he shows up. And then up he with comes back, and he's like, "What his... the fuck's going Correct. on?" He leaves, and he comes back. He's like, "What? what? Everything's different. What the fuck?" He comes back to throttle the not... girl, and then have a tea party with the rest of them. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's just having this little girl just, uh, like, uh, on her ankle who was trying to kill his other little girl, and he looks, and he's like, Oh, hey, Ichigo, I was looking for you. What, what kind of trouble have you gotten yourself into? Why is a little girl trying to kill this other little girl? Ah, uh, the world needs more Kenpachis. Crazy bastards with swords who just care nothing but just the thrill of battle. Yeah, they need more badasses like that. I'm finally starting Friggin to populate the inside and building Yay. an entrance on the outside. No more, no more outer structure. Man. Man, what? Kinpachi. I was just, I was, I. The weather in in Seattle and in, in the Pacific Northwest in general is really chaotic. It's like. I was going out to get some food today, and and it was like I started to come out, and it's just raining hard. I'm like, no, fuck this. I come inside, wait till it kind of dies down, and then I go out. And as I was ordering the food, I look out. It was freaking pouring again. If uh, if rain is God tears, then our God is Walter. True. Just 
there's this lonely old guy sitting on top of the world looking down he's like why can't i participate in this i just want to live a normal life in peace you think anyone's ever had a stroke in their sleep and then woke up not realizing they had a stroke Do you think that I'm happened sure to Walter? Files. Is that why he has those jowls? He has no, no more, no more feeling in his cheeks. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he has those jowls because he, he the only way he can like, uh, like drown his sorrows is, is, is by drinking expensive sake and eating chickens by the, by the carcass. Is that how you get jowls? You drink a lot I, and eat. I chicken? don't know how you get. I don't know how you get jowls. Oh boy, Droopy must have done a lot of shit in his life. <laughs> you think you think Walter was like a was, in his youth was just a hard partier, and then uh, life happened. And he woke, and then yeah, and then like he he's depressed because he can't go back to that anymore. Maybe he's like, well, I'm all used up. There doesn't really need to be a reason for Walter to be depressed. There never has been. He. he... <laughs> Well, he he watches he watches Spring Breakers, and then he just really wants to like he just gets all really depressed. Walter Spring Break. <laughs> no, the the movie, movie Spring Breakers. Is... <laughs> like like Spring one of the Break. Ernest movies. Walter needs an Ernest series of movies. Walter goes like, to just... the beach. <sighs> Some depressed. I'm just picturing like like weekend at Bernie's, except with uh, with a with a depressed old man rather than a dead guy. I got uh, I got pigs. Yes, pigmen. So you're going to see uh, War, War of the Worlds? Yes. Or, or rather, listen to it. Yes, I am a radio performance. Yes. How? You excited? As excited as I ever am. Can't you tell in my voice? <laughs> uh, a radio performance. So, this uh, this War of the Worlds reenactment, is it, like, just, are you going to listen to a bunch of other people reenact the War of the Worlds radio play, or are you going to listen to the actual War of the Worlds radio play? It's actors reenacting Like, the, the one that... Uh, so, no Orson Welles. No, that, that's no Orson shame. Welles. To my knowledge, some guy. Wait, they actually bring back Orson Welles from the dead and have him reenact. Yeah, War it's of like the Futurama. Worlds. They have his head in a jar somewhere. You know that's how Disney keeps their copyrights alive, right? They have old Walt uh, by... still frozen. <sighs> oh, Under he's still Matterhorn. alive. Look. They only bring him out for the so... lawsuits when they need to. What am I doing? I didn't. I just got rid of these bricks. <laughs> and then I put them right back. So. Walt Disney was a happy Walter, is that, wasn't he? Was his full name Walter? Uh, if you if you believe the the movie uh, Saving Mrs. Banks, then yeah, he was pretty happy. Then I know it, nothing about the guy, other than you know the anti-Semitism. Uh, I. I think he got really like stressed out like later on in life because he was like all those Mickey cartoons will he was, do that to you. you the thing is, that is that so uh, hmm. Man. what were you saying? Yeah, I think the Disney the because Saving Mrs. Banks, which is about like the about Walt Disney and the creator of uh, Mary Poppins meeting up and like collaborating on what would eventually become Mary Poppins. Oh right, I heard about that. It was that. a Disney film, so they're of course so they're, so they're whitewashing freaking Disney. I would imagine into this into being played by Tom Hanks. And Tom Hanks is the nicest guy in Hollywood and I can't help but think that that's like a big like But what about Kirk Cameron? That that shouldn't be. Guys, Kirk Cameron's smiles. probably the most religious man. He's the most religious man in Hollywood. Yeah, he is. 
Him or uh, him or Mel Gibson. Is he even? Uh, <laughs> well, Mel Gibson is is the most anti-Semitic man in I th I think in Hollywood. Yeah, I did I didn't look it, much into that. About uh, the whole uh, comments he made. Yeah. All I know about him are like his role in Braveheart, and uh, and South Park's jokes about him. Yeah, all I know about anyone I know from South Park. You think that's a bad point of reference? <laughs> Is that something I shouldn't judge um, people by? Well, like, oh well, I heard you were a nice guy, but I saw you being depicted as an asshole in South Park. So, uh, so obviously, yeah, that you have a nice life, truth. fuckwad. <laughs> Like, it's kind of weird, like, the guys who talk shit about, like, all these people. They have nothing bad to say about Fiona Apple. Fiona and Apple? It's kind of, it's, uh, an artist, like, a music, a musician, who's actually pretty good from the stuff I've heard of her. I've never heard of her. Uh, and, and also, that guy from, that one band, like, in the first season i can't remember who, what the guy who the guy was corn called no <laughs> they, they were kind of mixed on corn wait really yeah they they did this, they, this scooby-doo parody with corn and they were they were all <laughs> nice hip 70s guys until they started playing and they were all death and satanist and everything so you're saying it's probably just an act uh, that's that would is what I would assume to be the joke. <laughs> that's hilarious. They were kind of mixed on corn. So I mean, they made them look like nice guys until the very end. <laughs> I Matt Stone and Trey Parker, their their uh, opinions, I kind of confuse me at times. Hmm. Like. Like, I don't know whether they hate something, they like something, they're neutral about something, they think everybody involved are idiots. I think... So just you, you just described their opinion it. on Mormons, right? Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, it's weird because they they did this whole, like, thing about how Mormonism was founded by an idiot, but then, like, when a lot of people die and go to hell, they say, oh, Mormons were the correct answer, those guys go to heaven, and I'm like, oh. wait, that, that's kind of like... <laughs> That's like mixed messages. And then they did the whole musical about it. Yeah, that I was never the saw that. I need to. Uh... That's creepy. It's fucking babies. Oh, the ghasts. I thought you were still talking about Mormons. No, Mormons are actually nice. I think. I've never met like a Mormon who was like an asshole. So. Yet. Well, yeah, yet, but. The ones that, like, come up to my door, and you're like, hey, you, you hear the good word of the Lord? I'm like, look, man, I'm hungover. Can you just, like, can I just want to go back to sleep? And they're like, okay, you, you sleep that off, sir, and have a nice day. I'm like, if, if, I figure if it was, like, like, uh, like some other dude from some other religion, any other religion except for Buddhism then they'd probably just be pressuring me to just, hey, maybe the key, maybe the cure to your hangover is with the Lord. Yeah. You kind of dig yourself in a, a grave in these builds. Oh, fuck. Well... I mean, you're not wrong. You're just, you know, waiting for the comments. <laughs> At this point, this is my, this is my third... Video for counting the mystery build, the mystery uh, uh, playthrough. Yes. Uh, this is the third build where I, I've inadvertently insulted it, it, every like somebody, and you know what? You just, just my up opinions. On I, I, <laughs> yeah. It, I'm not. I don't mean these people any ill will. I'm just trying to be funny. And if, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. It's nothing personal. It's just comedy. Congratulations, Jack. You've been enlightened. <laughs> You've joined us. <laughs> am I am I gonna walk down a, a hall and, and then sit down in a folding chair and a bunch of people are gonna be clapping their hands, going "Congratulations!" It'll be a it'll, it'll be a slow be applause, looking... you know, the inspiring kind. 
<laughs> It'll be inspirational. So, uh, Mickey, uh, M Mickey asked me a question the other day, and it's something that oh, I, I've never thought me. about, which, uh, which is very unusual for me, considering that it was sex-related. <laughs> Go on. So, uh, well, sort of sex-related, but I, I, I'm gonna ask you, would, uh, would you, would you date a Siamese, uh, like a Siamese twin? If, uh... Which one? Like, both of them? Uh, well, it, that's... Did you really ask which one? <laughs> well, like, what's the defining... The, what's the difference like going to be which one you choose? <laughs> Personality, I guess? I mean, if they're well, Siamese she, twins, it's a given that they'd have the same, yeah, she like, said body. That they, both have, like, so... they both have very different but likable personalities. <sighs> would I date a Siamese... Would I date a pair of Siamese twins? Um, yes. I mean, if I just if I was just dating one, it'd be a very awkward date. Yeah. Because it's like I'm just talking to the one, and then the other one's just kind of like, "Oh, don't mind me, I'll just stay here and read alone." <laughs> yeah, that, that would also I, I wouldn't be able to actually like have sex with like one like just the one because the other one's just it's like standing off to the side or just laying down beside, just like. What if they don't mind uh, me? Just what if reading they a book. share the goods? They were connected to their... They they were connected above the waist, so downstairs, you know, they were one. Then it, the second one wouldn't really have the option of just, you know, sitting back and reading. That... That, um... You're really struggling with this. I'm struggling, because it's like... It's questions like this that make that make me, you know, seriously consider bigamy. You know, maybe a <laughs> maybe the Mormons do did have this figured out a lot a lot longer before the rest of us did. Like like they were discussing how marriages should work and one of them asks, "What if there's some conjoined twins?" And they're like, "Oh fuck, dude, I never thought about that." Well, we got to be nice and include both of them so they like and then the person just read the part, like, that ultra-specific thing, like, in the event of a, of a person dating a Siamese twin, it'd be okay to, like, marry both of them. And he's like, well, we can't leave other women out. What if there's two, like, twins who aren't conjoined? Yeah, that's just like, not twins fair. And they w yeah, and then... <laughs> and then it just got... D did we just discover the theory the behind snowballed. polygamy? <laughs> Do you think the first Muslim, I think the theory behind the first Muslim brides were conjoined? Is that what I happened? I think the theory behind polygamy... I think the theory behind polygamy is a, a king was like, well, man, there's so much women in the world. I don't want to be chained down to just one. Oh, hey, wait, I'm I king. Know. I don't I'll have to so be. That I can, yeah, I can marry as many as I want to. I can have con I can have the official bride, and then I can have a bunch of women I can sleep around with. The Chinese had that shit figured out. Yeah. yeah Mar Marvel's too shy to... Like, that's... A like, if, if there was, like, a world where polygamy was, like, just accepted as, like, an everyday facet of life, I mean, they wouldn't have to, had to kill off Gwen Stacy. They could just have him and, uh, just have Gwen Stacy and Mary Jane just get, get on the spider train. And then Taskmaster comes in, and it's a four, four-person marriage. What the fuck? <laughs> he copies Spidey's abilities in bed. <laughs> <laughs> that be <laughs> is that a fanfic in the making is that something I, that exists i don't know can it, can that I happen never... kid if t that Someone is a question i never thought it that that is a question i've never thought i'd ask myself if ta if the taskmaster watched porn would he copy the sexual abilities of the people he was watching now that is a fanfic like... in the making <laughs> God. He didn't really use those copy abilities in Marvel vs. Capcom, did he? No, he just fired a bow, swung a sword, and used a shield. And did flying, lots of flying That's, that's about it. Yeah. He... Oh, I got company I, I... out here. The new neighbors. I don't <laughs> like them. I don't like their kind. They're not coming in. So, uh, I realized that I, after I built the whole two stories... 
I uh, didn't really leave any any room to build, you know, a nice little spot with crafting table and things like that. So I had to so you I had to add a up. loft. Hmm. A loft. A loft. The crafting loft. <laughs> You're still on task. So, master. so um No. Um so here's another question. Like Fuck, what was it? So you, yeah, how you familiar forgot, with your you are drunk. <laughs> you got me. This isn't the first drink in my hand. I've been drinking since uh, early. Not early, early, just afternoon early. Early for you. It's t always 5 p.m. somewhere. It, and that doesn't matter because you'll wake up at, at 1 p.m. everywhere. <laughs> Hey, if if, if I, it is a work day tomorrow, then I wouldn't. I would wake up earlier. So what were you about to but, say? Uh, what, what's your favorite like uh, medieval like time period? Like uh, favorite time country? Like the if you couldn't live in like modern day, like the place you would live, like in history, the, the certain period. Uh, well, I can tell you it would it would not be 15th century uh, France, because you know, Frollo on the large. That's oddly specific. Oh god, <laughs> he's, that's he's, he's our favorite. I with. think he's our. I think he's our favorite Disney villain, just yeah. because of his single-minded dedication to exterminating the pagans. I he mean, the gypsies. He doesn't need no magic. He doesn't need no sorcerer's power. He doesn't need any fancy trinkets. Just good old-fashioned malice. I am Judge Claude Frollo. He's an old I man will burn in a dress you at the with stake. a sword. And that's all he needs. <laughs> like fire. Hellfire. Also, he's su also he sung about France. banging a chick. <laughs> so that you know, that was Hellfire, wasn't it? Yeah, that was. Yeah, it's like. Well, you think maybe if it, if you think she would have like tricked uh, tricked him into like like hey okay I'll, I won't I won't join I'll join you at, at like by your side he's like cool and then he unties her he touches his face and goes thinner huh. There's this uh, Stephen King movie called Thinner, which involves some gypsies cursing this fat dude to becoming thinner, and he and he slowly like is losing weight, and he's losing more weight no matter how much he eats, and so they have to terrorize those same gypsies into like removing that curse, and and that's the those are the protagonists, just a bunch of guys who were cursed by gypsies, one of which gets a curse until he, so th that he becomes thinner and thinner until he dies, another of, of which. So it's slowly becoming reptilian, and the third of which is just having more and more zits. It's kind of disproportionate. Yeah. In that two other guys got like, oh, we're gonna make you uglier. You, on the other hand, are gonna slowly die of starvation. Yeah. Good luck with that. That uh, that that reminds me of the Snickers commercial with the old German guy. <laughs> Why am I always Wait, hungry? Oh, <laughs> oh, that, that poor bastard. Yeah, you, you, you would feel for him. <laughs> Who am I kidding? So would I. Yeah. I'm a glutton. I'm just a glutton with a great metabolism. Yep. I'm actually controlling my eating habits. But not your drinking habits. There's no I control in the beast. I barely drink. <laughs> release the beast. <laughs> that's another... That's another movie I gotta make you watch. It's The Purge. Uh, I've seen it. Well, I haven't seen the movie, you, but see... I've, I've seen, like, the DVD around. <laughs> I realized my comment was what, what misleading you... after I said it. What... 
What do you think the movie is about? Well, I've read the box, so I pretty much know what it's about. Okay, what what did the box say it was about? Uh, for one night, a, for one day, night or day a year, all crime is legal. So. Okay. Yes, that's. Yeah. That's that's the bare bones of it, though. Like, they don't tell you that it's it's actually kind of a boring movie, and that it's just a house invasion movie with this seemingly more awesome plot in the background. That does sound kind of like a disappointment. Yeah, it's like, oh hey, a movie where all crime is legal for one night. We can it's gonna be a great anthology film. Uh, yeah. No, it's uh, it's, it's just a house alone. invasion film. It's Home Alone, except that uh, Macaulay Culkin has a shotgun. Meh. It, it, uh, yeah, I, I'll agree with you on that. Meh. Although it did have a pretty, uh, a pretty hilarious villain who had a, like one of the most dazzling smiles I've ever seen. The guy in the mask. Well, he's, uh, he wasn't wearing a mask afterwards. He took it off fairly early on in the movie, and he's like... He's like being polite. That's what that's what they called him in the... In in the credits. Like, polite. So he's like, handsome Jack? That was, he's polite Jack? <laughs> polite, um... Polite leader, I think was his name. In the, in the credits. They couldn't even bother naming the guy. So... He had the one. He had a, a pretty uh, hilarious scene where after uh, a- after another character in the movie just kills a bunch of masked uh, intruders, he turns a corner and then the polite leader comes out and just stabs him in the front. And then he's as he's setting him down to slowly die. He's like going shh. shh. And he's being all like comforting to him as as he, the other guy's bleeding out. It was oh. like cliched, but it was yeah. Dude's polite to the very end. If uh. If, if we watch Beast, Jack Beast. Frost, would you enjoy it or would you hate it? Not, Is it because of a pun on my name? Not No, not the Disney one, the uh, the horror one. And I use that oh, word loosely. Oh, I'd probably enjoy it. All right, then I'd we will probably not be enjoy watching it. that. <laughs> I probably just gave you ammunition against me, though. <laughs> you're, 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 you're familiar with Jack Frost. And oh, there's a snowman! Not with that's a line from the movie. Oh my god. That's all uh, I know. I remember the that, scene. There's a scene where a girl gets raped by a snowman with a carrot penis. That's, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, that's... Sounds hot. It, it's not... It could only not... be hotter if you were a Siamese snowman. <laughs> so we're getting into Calvin and Hobbes, like, fucked up snowman territory. What? Are we? What happened in Calvin and Hobbes? Do I want to know about their snowman? You, you know something, you, you know shit about like popular culture because I, you know somehow know about Jack Frost, but you don't know about the seminal like classic newspaper, like cartoon. I I know what Calvin, Calvin and, Hobbes and Hobbes is. I just don't know about their well, snowman. It, well, Calvin every winter creates these fucked up snowman snowmen. This He's, is news to me. Yeah, it's a it's a character staple where he, or other people are like creating these pretty like normal snowmen, and his snowmen are like all dying and shit, or getting dismembered by other snowmen, or like he created a parody like like art snowman called Nude Descending a Staircase, except with a snowman. I think I've seen that original painting. Is it any good? No. No, it's not. Huh. No wonder people mock it. So, uh, it's a little dark up here. I'm gonna gonna fix that right now. Hmm. Gonna create a giant fireplace. Yes. A fire pit beacon. Hmm. It's still a little dark to read over in the corner, though. So to recap, we've yeah you've built a, a house in hell, and you've decided that the thing hell needed more was more fire. Yes, 
because you know, I, I I try to keep my designs consistent. You know, lots of lots of lava and death in my overworld home. So, uh, you know, it just makes sense that the yep. theme continues here. So what uh, what percentage of this video do you think we spend actually talking about the build itself? Um, two percent. Less tops? than five. Less than five percent. Yeah. But that's okay. It's uh. It what would be more annoying? Just narrating, like what's go continuously what's going on in the build, or just having fun with yeah. uh, with it's what we're a, talking about. It's better to talk about how Mary Jane is is a uh, unchaste. Except I guess she's not. I I mean, I, how do you define that? I mean, she she's sort but, of unchaste, but, but only because. You know, Peter made a deal with the devil to that end. I, uh, I, uh, all I know, uh, I first heard about this, uh, this story arc, not by reading it, but, but from a comic critic known as, uh, Linkara. He essentially had this top 10 list of comics he would never do. And he lumped to manga as like, an, as like one of them, mainly because he just didn't get that culture. And so he couldn't make a fair and biased, uh, decision of like review on that kind of stuff which i i respect but um but he added one more day as like that list because you know i don't know why i it's just like does he need a reason like does he need more a reason he, than the comic itself provides well eventually he like the people kept asking him he added that as like his top 10 comics he'd never do he's like no i'm never doing it i'm never doing it and then uh then he reached his 200 episode he's like Fuck it, I'll do one more day. But still and, no manga. Uh, actually, kind of went back on that too. If you count his Halloween series, he talks a bit about uh, the Japanese manga Uzumaki. You know the the fucked up one where everything is all about spirals. Huh. It it's the one where like I would have guessed it was comes about zombie Naruto or something. <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> That wasn't that actually a filler arc. Like I have, I have no idea. Naruto? It wasn't in the original one, which oh is when I stopped watching. Naruto. Good. So I'm adding, <laughs> adding some windows. You know, make it, make it look nice in hell. Your your help oh, there, us. where the skies are ocean blue. Good. If I'm like, <laughs> you know, you know, it was uh, one of the best uh, movies about a uh, person selling his soul to the devil. Ghost Rider. That too, but I was gonna say Bedazzled. That was uh, that was pretty. Uh, it was pretty funny. I am. I'm not familiar. It's Is essentially a, a movie bewitched? where. No, no, completely different. Good. See, Bedazzled was about. Bedazzled was about uh, about a guy who was like in love with this uh, girl, but she would never be like interested in him otherwise. So he, so the devil, who was this hot chick, like comes out. He's like, "Hey, if you give me your soul, I can give you all these wishes, and you can use them to uh, to court this woman." And so he's like jumps at the. He's initially reluctant, but uh, but then he's like, oh, okay, sure, I'll uh, I'll do it. And uh, and and the devil, of course, being the devil, like corrupts each and every wish he makes into like it. Like he he wishes to be like married to Al, like the woman who's named Allison, and is like very rich and very powerful. So she makes him a drug dealer whose wife hates him. Hmm. A Colombian drug dealer, yeah, and uh, and like I want to be an athlete, and so it makes him like a star basketball player who's an idiot and whose dick is tiny, for some reason. It's a fair trade, I guess. Is like I wish to become president of the United States. Turns him into Lincoln the night before he gets assassinated by John Wilkes Booth. Do you remember when I sold my soul to the devil? Did you? And I got away when was with this? it. And then I tried to sell it again, and he had he wouldn't take oh, any yeah. of that shit. 
Is that is that video gonna come out before or after this video? Uh, what is it? No, it, it'll yeah, it'll come out before the day before. So they'll they'll know okay, what we're talking good. about. And if they don't, go watch our video. It, Rebirth, man, it's happening. Uh, November fourth. I can't wait. Hopefully, it has widescreen this time. And uh, controller support. Yeah, that too. Fucking well, I, I'd be the, the one. Key, those those dicks. <laughs> they just gave a giant middle finger to controller users in the options menu. Well, if they want to ever get finished with like Steambox, they're gonna have to uh, implement it at some point for all their titles. Hopefully. Other than that, I other than that, I actually genu genuinely like Steam. They're uh, much better than Origin. Origin. Then again, that's kind of you know that EA platform. EA has a that I, I already malware. dislike it. Yes, <laughs> you're smart. <laughs> I, I am I'm done with EA. Since uh, yeah, you know what happened to me with Burnout, right? Oh yeah, like you had an issue with it, and the and the tech like the tech guys representing them to basically told you to go fuck yourself. Uh yeah, I, uh, it, it was a Burnout Paradise it was a great game on PS3, loved it to death. Decided I'd get it on Steam, and it uh, it didn't work. It does not work as long as you have any kind of web st webcam or recording software. Kind of like the one that I'm using right now. And uh, since <laughs> get, uninstalling it obviously wasn't an option, they, uh, they said, screw you, we're not patching it, the game will never work, and you just wasted $5. And we'll be, we'll be laughing all the way to the bank. And they did. And I have not bought anything from them since. Yay, yeah. Joke's on them. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's it. it. The thing is done, right? And after that haunting cautionary tale, we'll, we'll, that's where we'll leave you. Yeah. That horror story of EA and Origin. Yeah, so we're done with the house, right? We're done with the house. Uh, no, we're not. You mentioned right. that you have some more stuff to go. No, we're, we're done. We're done? Huh. Maybe. Are you there, Jack? Hello? I'm lonely.